Hey guys, today we're going to learn about nuclear fission. Simply put, nuclear fission happens when the nucleus of an atom splits apart into smaller pieces. You see, some isotopes of atoms are not stable, meaning their nuclei will spontaneously break apart. This might not seem like a big deal, it's just a bigger atom breaking into two smaller ones. However, as you may know, radioactive materials are dangerous, and this is because of the radiation that is emitted when they decay. But why do they emit radiation? Well, let's start with something simple, iron. We know an iron atom has 26 protons and 30 neutrons. So we should be able to multiply those numbers by the mass of a proton and a neutron and find their total mass. But weirdly, the protons and neutrons that make up the atom add up to more than the total observed mass. The difference between these numbers is called an atom's mass defect, which in iron's case is roughly 0.5 AMU roughly half the mass of a proton. But where is this extra mass coming from? Well, thanks to Albert Einstein, we know that mass and energy are interchangeable. So when an atom forms, that mass defect is converted to energy that holds together the nucleus. But when fission occurs, the energy is released, most of it as kinetic energy that drives the emitted particles. But some of that energy is in the form of light both visible and the higher power gamma x-rays, which cause radiation sickness and cancerous mutations. Another important factor in radioactive decay is half-life, which is the amount of time on average it takes 50% of substance to decay and thus release radiation. So an element like polonium with a half-life of 118 years is more radioactive than radium with a half-life of 1600 years. And while these isotopes that release the radiation over many years are dangerous, in the nuclear reactions we see in atomic bombs, all of that fission can happen almost instantly. These nuclear bombs work on the principle of nuclear chain reactions. To see how this works, let's take a look at uranium-235. Now this isotope is pretty stable, with a half-life of about 700 million years. But when another neutron is added, making an excited version of uranium-236, it becomes unstable and it breaks apart. This produces barium and krypton, which are both very radioactive. But more importantly, it also releases three extra neutrons, which then strike other uranium-235 atoms, making a chain reaction of fission that produces huge amounts of energy. Using Einstein's famous E equals mc squared equation, we can actually calculate that if the energy in one kilogram of uranium was perfectly converted to electricity, which of course it's not, it could power the whole city of New York for over 24 hours. So I guess today we learned that the tiny amounts of energy that hold every atom together can be used to both power and level cities. Thanks for watching.